Hi everyone, it's Cindy with Blue Shore Vacations. I'm here today to talk to you about trends in travel. We live in a post-pandemic world and if anything the pandemic taught us was perspective about what's Im most important. And we have noticed here at our agency five trends in travel. Since the pandemic, the first one is people are taking the bucket list trips. Yep, time to go to Italy. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Celebrate your daughter's college graduation. I just booked a trip for a mother-daughter duo. They're going to Ireland for eight days over her spring break because she's student teaching. We, she gave me the list of the places she wanted to see and we've got it all worked out. Super excited. Europe is flying off the shelf. At Europe river cruises. I've booked three alone just this week. Um, people are very excited about those bucket list trips. It's time to go. The second thing people are excited to do is multi-gen travel. That is multiple generations. So you've got grandparents, parents, and kids in a group going where they want to go. Typically, these kinds of groups are going to Disney World or to Hawaii or on a cruise. Those kinds of trips work really, really well for multiple generations. There's something for everyone to do all day long. You're still together. Uh, it's worked out super great for our clients. The third category is solo travel. Solo travel on the rise. And I'm excited because I think we should be able to feel confident in doing these kinds of things on our own. Um, you might need a little guidance though because th there are things called a single supplement. So like um, a cabin on a cruise is packaged and priced based on two people. So if only one person is going, the cruise line might actually charge you something extra. It's called a single supplement. Um, I found a few cruises. So Virgin Voyages has solo cabins. Norwegian Cruise Line has solo cabins. So it's exciting to see that that is a response to the rise in solo travel. The fourth category of people that I'm seeing a lot of are friend groups traveling together. So moms getaways, college sister reunion, friend, uh, college reunions going together, uh, getting away, getting back together, but in a really fun place. Um, another one is, okay, so like my cousin just booked a trip for his wife to Jamaica for her birthday, and they are inviting all of their friends to come with them. I mean, how much fun is that? And a trip like that, like if we handle that, you don't have to handle all the other people. We would deal directly with each individual party. So no work to do that as a group. Other groups that are suddenly very much more popular now than before are um, larger groups. Those are the groups, but they're larger and more pre-planned. For example, Holy Land Tours. We, we're going on one with our, we're doing one with our church. Um, I just booked one with a friend of mine. Her pastor is, a, her husband is a pastor at a church nearby and we're good friends with them and we're we're getting everybody all set up from the tour to the guides to the locations they're gonna do um communion in the garden tomb and they're gonna sing some worship songs he's very adamant they want to stop by the jordan river so we are making sure that happens for him so things can be customized that has been really great. So if you know someone or if you have a church that wants to do a Holy Land tour, I've got lots of experience and very particular suppliers that I work with uh, that provide a super amazing experience. And it's not a lot of work for the pastor. Once you design, choose the date, then I do all the work individually with everyone. So there's no like burden on the pastor or the staff. Okay, so that's that. All of these kinds of trends I would recommend using a travel agent. If you don't you won't use our agency, find one that is um, certified, licensed, bonded, and insured, got experience in this type of destination you are interested in. I can't tell you um, how important that is. Uh, we do this full time. So I'm aware of all the different brands and the suppliers. I attend conferences. Um, I'm going to GTM again in June. I've got connections in the industry. So I know who the reputable suppliers are. Anybody can make a website. I made a website and it, anybody can make a website.
would say. So you just want to be sure that you're working with the right kind of suppliers. So if you're interested and you'd like to travel with us this year or next year, we are planning 2024 already. Uh, you can reach me at blueshorevacations.com, Instagram, Facebook, uh, and you can email me at cindya at blueshorevacations.com. And um, thanks, and I hope everybody has a great Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day.